Hey, stand against that wall for me, okay? I know that I'm sure they already searched you, but when uh, when you come in here, I gotta search you again, okay? Face this wall for me. Spread your feet for me, Danny. Step off that wall a little bit. There you go. Hey, when I take each handcuff off you, put your hand on the wall, okay? Do you understand me? Is there anything on you that they may have missed? Pocket knife or tobacco or anything like that? Yeah, put them on. Keep them on the wall for me, okay, buddy? It's yours? Yeah. Lean back for me, or step back for me. Alright. Have a seat right there, Danny. I'll be in a few minutes, alright? Do you want anything to water or anything? You want a water? Okay. You alright, Dan? Alright. Alright, this is my partner, Detective Lee. Have you met him before? I don't think he was with me the last time. What's going on, man? I'm alright. Um, you have to bear with me. It's been a long day, so I'm going to drink coffee as we talk. Um, they tell you why you got picked up today? No. You, you have no idea? No. Okay. You have a warrant. I got a warrant for you for murder, for Andre. So you're being arrested for murder today. Okay. Yeah, I'll say so. Okay. Um, I'm sure you have a lot of questions for me. Um, but, again, this is kind of one of those things that we've been working on for a while, and you know that. Um, before we go any further, I I'm going to read you your rights, okay? I know last time we talked, we went over your rights and everything, but I want to make sure that you understand that. Fair enough? All right. I'll stay close to you if that's all right. You know where you're at? You're at the uh, Policeman Boyle Building. Today is the uh, 7th of December, and it is... 6.37 p.m. Danny, can you read? Yes. Can you write? Yes. You been drinking alcohol today? No. Drugs? Taking any drugs today? Just aspirin. Just aspirin? Nothing prescribed? No. I'm going to put aspirin right here, okay? No medications? No. You're not taking anything? You can just ask me like okay. I said before. Do you wear glasses? No. Contacts? No. How's your mental health? Good. Good? Okay. If you can read this first line out to me out loud, starting with you and ending the Constitution. You have the rights, the following rights under the United States Constitution. Correct. You do not have to make a statement or say anything. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you, and to have the lawyer with you during any questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning, if you wish. If you do answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with the lawyer. Do you understand your rights? Do you have any questions about your rights? Okay, if you understand your rights, sign right here. I know the last time we talked, I got a little bit of information about kind of, you know, your your background and stuff like that, but I kind of want to go back there again, if you don't mind, just um, kind of see how you grew up and everything like that. Do you have an issue with that? Okay. Didn't you tell me you grew up in Alabama? You did? Um, is that where you were born at? Where were you born in Alabama? Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa? Okay. Um, Where'd you go to school at in Alabama? Pickens County High. Say again? Pickens County High School. Okay. Um, any brothers or sisters or anything like that? Three sisters. Three. I think you told me that last time, didn't you? And you've got no brothers. No. What about you and your dad? Are you and your dad close? Not really. 
Is he still alive? Yeah. Or are him and your mother still together? No. Okay. Is your mom and your dad close? Somewhat. I mean, do they stay? No. Okay. Um, how, how, how was your dad with, you, with your upbringing? Was he involved or not involved? Or? Not involved. Not involved at all? Um, did you have anybody to kind of mentor you, or is it just... Myself. That you just... Myself and streets. It's just you in the streets. What about your sisters? Were they older or younger? Older. Did, uh... Well, I did, well, I did have an uncle. You did? Did he take part in your life? Yeah. And was he, well, I mean, was he a good... Yeah. I mean, he was a good role model? Okay. And did you finish high school, or... No. How far, how far did you go in school? Eighth grade. Eighth grade? Okay. What made you not go any further in high school? Went to Job Corps. What kind of work did you do in Job Corps? What were you training? I know you go there to, for training, is, is that right? What's that? Welding. Did you ever do anything with that? No. Okay. When you were growing up, were you, did you get in trouble as a kid? Not really. Because I checked to see, you know, as far as your rest, I saw, I think I saw you had some arrest in like Palm Beach, Palm Beach or something like that? Yeah. What, what was that about? Over my family. It was? Were you fighting with like a sister or mom or, or your dad or? Over my sister. What, was it hands-on or no hands or verbal? Oh, or? Man, they let me out, so, okay. so they knew I was just there with them. I got you. Did you ever get arrested in Alabama? I can't even remember. It's so long ago. Okay. Um, how, how did you get to Jacksonville? When did you come from Jacksonville? Or from no Alabama more. to Jacksonville? No more. She, she moved all y'all? Where, where, and she's over on, is she on Oak Leaf Road? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Who's she living up there with? My three sisters. My, well, my other two sisters. Uh, are they involved in your life? And yeah. They are? Were they close to Andrea? Yeah. They weren't? What do they think about all this? My mom know I did it. Your mom, she don't think you did it? My mom know I did. Okay. How do you feel about what happened to Andrea? I feel sick about it. I want to say, I don't see why y'all messing with me. You, you know, you look, you're looking down when you say that. Yeah, and you can't even look I'm, me in the eye I'm, when you I'm, say that. I'm, I'm serious because I'm tired of y'all messing with me. Y'all looking for the wrong person. Y'all looking at the wrong person. How many times have I messed with you? All these times y'all come to my house, get my cars. Right. I, I give you everything. That, that, that's what, that Wouldn't was, you want us to do that? Yes, but I, I want to right. find out who did this too. Right. I did find out who did it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you realize I have a warrant in my hand right here, right? The, the warrant is on hear me out. Thing. You got to hear me out. You realize that this warrant is an arrest warrant for you, right? Mm -hmm. And you realize that I had to have a state attorney, a prosecutor, <coughs> review this. Mm -hmm. And I had to have evidence to get this. And then after I have a state attorney review this, you know this goes in front of a judge. Okay. Do you know that? Yes. Okay. And I, I got three officers of police. I know all, what all y'all doing. Where where are they where are they police at? Alabama. Are they still police? Yes. Okay. Well, I can tell you, Danny, that you wouldn't be sitting here if you didn't kill Andrea. And this is one of those times in your life where you can make a decision to do the right thing or to keep doing what you're doing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I didn't do this. You did do this, Danny. No, I didn't. And I can prove you did it. Okay. Well, you can prove it in court. I'm going to. But I'm I'm sitting here having a conversation with you. I'm hoping that. You'll at least be a man and at least tell me, you know what, Detective Gibson? I screwed up. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to say that because I know I did. Okay. I know I did. So I'm not going to sit there and tell you this to you. Okay. I'm telling you that I have evidence okay, that says so otherwise. Take me to jail. Let's go to court. So you don't want to even talk about it? No. What's that? No. Okay. All right. You don't want to, you don't want to sit here and talk to me and... Try to I'm pick, what? I'm well, I, just, what? No, I want to make it, I want to make sure that I'm clear that you just said you don't want to talk and you want to go to jail. So I want to make sure that I understand that you don't want to talk anymore. That I you're done. I don't need to talk about this because I know I didn't do it. Okay, so you're telling me that you don't want to talk to me. I'm talking to you now. You don't want to talk to me about this case. Well, let's talk. What's that? Let's talk. You just told me that you didn't want to talk. You want to talk about it? No, I do, but I want to make sure. Okay, I'm sitting here until this time. I want to make sure I understand that fact that you told me at first that you don't want to talk and you want to, you don't want to go to jail, but now you're telling me that you're willing to talk to me. Okay, so let's talk. It, whatever, okay. whatever you're going, it's going to go in court anyway. So, right. tell me why you think that you're sitting in here. Well, I 
I really don't know. You, you said I did it. Right. But I know I did it. Okay. First time we talked, you told me that you were over at your house when you got some text messages from Andrea. Yes. Saying that she needed help yes. and that you went over there after you went and picked up Jones, that you and Jones went over there together. Yes. And that you found her. Yes. And I'm telling you right now that I can prove that's not true. I have evidence to prove that you were at that house before that. Yes. Yes, I, I was at the house before that, yes. Okay. I, I went and picked up her charger key. Okay. She gave me the charger key. What time did you pick up the charger key? Mm, about nine something. What time did you get there? I can't remember the exact time. Do you know what time you left? It went shortly after she gave me the key. So you're telling me you got there at nine something? It's it between 9.30 and 10 or something like that. Did you go in the house? Hmm? Did you go in the house? Yes. She, she opened the door and let me in. Okay. And do you, were you there for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 uh, minutes? It's like, probably 15, 20 minutes. Did you guys argue? No. There was no arguing between you two? No. She, took, she gave me the key. And then you left. So she know how my car is. She know my car. I had to put it in the shop and get the oil chain. My tire was bad, so she gave me the charger key. I still got the charger key. When you left, did you go straight home? Yeah, I was straight home. And how long were you at home before you started getting messages from her? She started mentioning me about 11 something. 11 something. She started, how long have you been, had you been home for? Yeah, I, I went home. Been home for an hour, five minutes, ten minutes? Well, uh, probably like 30, 35, 45 minutes. So if you started getting messages from her about 11, you're, t you're saying you were at the house for about 30 to 45 minutes? Yes. At her house, or at your house? In my house. Before you got that. So you're telling me that you were probably at your house by at least 10, 15? Yeah, well, okay. I did. Right. I know that's not true. I know what time you got to her house, Danny, and it wasn't after nine. Well, I don't. I don't know the exact time. Okay. You you're not even. You're what, asking me you, what uh, you're telling me is not true. You you didn't just go over there for. I went over there and get the for, charger key. The charger key is still in my car now. Okay. I'm not saying you didn't get the charger key, but I'm telling you that you weren't over there for any twenty minutes. You were over there for some time. And you were the only one over there because nobody else came in that house. And I know this for a fact. I'm not going to lay out my whole case, but you know how I know. I already, I already know who was all over her house. Okay. So she told me. Her friend D. Yeah, her friend D left probably about 7 o'clock that night, probably about 7.15. Somewhere in that time frame, she was gone. So I'm giving you a chance. This is your chance, Danny. If you want to look like a monster and a cold-blooded killer, then that's what you're going to look like. But if you came over there and things just went wrong and it was an accident or you lost your temper or it was a mistake, then now's the time for you to tell me. But if you want to stick to the fact that we're crazy and all this evidence I have is bullshit, you're going to look terrible. Okay. People understand when people screw up and make a mistake. I didn't make no mistake because I know I didn't do this. I put my right hand to God. I didn't do this. Okay. Why did you tell me you didn't own a gun? I didn't. She did. No, you told me that you didn't own a gun. I never owned a gun. That's not true. Yes, it is. She she had a little... I had... I I mean, when I first got the floor, I had a twenty five. She had a twenty two, mm -hmm. And she kept it up in a box in her closet. When I interviewed you, I specifically asked you if she owned a gun. And you specifically told me that she did not own a gun. Well, and you, you gotta me. let me finish. You interrupted me. Okay, I'll let you talk. You specifically told me that she did not own a gun, and you told me that she wouldn't own a gun. I mean, that was your word. She was like, she didn't. She, she, she's in the navy. I'm telling you what you told me. This is what you told me. Okay. okay. And then I have other people who have given me testimony saying they saw that gun in your house. I'm not worried about them. Okay. Well, you I'm should be worried. About, Danny. I'm not worried about other people. You should be worried because I'm telling you right now, you're gonna look. 
but he went over there with the sole purpose to kill him. And now I know things were rough with you guys, and I know they were up and down. And I know that isn't totally your fault. I know that she had was still talking to you, and I think you were probably thinking she was leading you on. But I'm telling you right now, if you stick to this, you're going to look like a cold-blooded murderer. And that's what you're going to look like. All this evidence right here is, is you. If you flip about right in here, these are all discs. Surveillance discs, stuff I pulled out of off your car, disc, uh, things that I pulled off of your phone, things I pulled off of your Facebook. Mm -hmm. I've been pretty busy the last couple months, okay? And I'm not going to step to you if I don't know what I'm doing. Me, I mean, being a man is is owning up to what what you did. I am a man, and, well, I, and I know I ain't do this. I know you did it. For a fact, you did it. Okay. You killed that woman. No. Yeah, you did. No, I did. And and we can prove it. You can, you can say what you want to say. I know I did. I don't care what evidence. You what about got. the evidence? What about when I, the evidence I says you did? I don't care did? what evidence you got. <laughs> you can't you can't put me for, to killing her. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay. So when you Five minutes ago, when you lied to me about what time you were over there and what time you left, that's the second time you lied about. They don't. They don't. They don't. That says a lot. They don't. No, they don't. They don't give you out about that. I did this. It does when you've already told me two lies about being over there. Why are you lying about being over there? Well, I told you I went over there to get the charger key. Okay. Where did you park when you went over there to get the charger key? I parked because I didn't supposed to. She told me to park at the what's it called at the mailbox. You parked in the mailbox? Yes, okay. because she, you, didn't, she didn't want me to park in front of the house. And, and how did you know that? She told me. When did she tell you that? She told me on, on the messenger. On the she messenger. called me. She told you to park in the mailbox? Yes. That's not true, because yeah. I looked on there and that message isn't there. But I do know you called her. Okay. You called her at 855. Yes. When you were I there. said on messenger. I didn't say on right. messenger text, on messenger. She told but me you to park called in the her mailbox. when you got there. Okay, so you didn't see no calls from her on there. I did. To me. Yeah, I, I, I oh, saw. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying that she wasn't calling you. Don't don't think I'm not. Don't think that I think that you were the only one contacting her. I know. I've seen all the messages. Okay. I saw all the messages on hers. Even though you erased all yours up until that day, I have all of hers between you guys. So I know she was contacting you. So don't think I don't. I'm not seeing the whole big picture. I'm seeing the big picture. Okay. But. You know, when you tell me, oh, I'm over there after 9, that's just not true. I really don't know the time. Thing. And you weren't over there for any 15 minutes, I'll tell you that. I know that for a fact. Okay. I'm not finna admit to something I didn't do. Okay. Is there any questions you, you have of me? No. Okay. You're, you're going to be booked in tonight on this warrant, okay? Okay. Um... I'm not going to sit in here with you all night. Um, if, you, like I said, I've already said this. If you're going to look like a, you want to look like a monster, that's on you. At least when I get done with this and I put my file together, I'll be able to walk over to the state attorney's office and I'll say, "Hey, I talked to Danny Beard not once and not twice. Here you go. Here's all the evidence." He said he don't know nothing about nothing. I ain't say I ain't know nothing about nothing. Okay, then I what do you know? I, I, if you know nothing about, if you I know told, something, I, tell me what you know. I told you, I, I'm telling you now, I did not do this. Okay. Then who did? It? How do I know? That's y'all job to find well, out. I, I, I found it. it. <laughs> we did. Okay, well, we'll see in court. Okay. So at the end of the day, the evidence is the evidence. Okay. This is one of those cases where it really don't matter what you say, because you know, this is this is really your opportunity to tell us what happened and why. All right, because we already got you to the rights. And it's just a matter of how you're going to look in front of that jury. Okay, well, let's try to go in front of the jury. Right. My lawyer will be up. We can handle it in court. Okay. That's all we're waiting on for this to happen. Y'all charge me or something. You say so, what? So you're That's waiting for this? You've been waiting for this? Yep. That's why I haven't got a lawyer yet until y'all charge me or something. My, my uncle's police officer. I know everything to go on. Your uncle, a homicide detective? Yep. He, yes. he still is right now? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, I think he's going to be pretty disappointed in you when uh, he no. sees everything that we have. No, I don't. You don't think he will? No, I don't know. You know I ain't do this. He knows you wouldn't do my, it? My whole family know I, I wouldn't do something like this. What, why do they think that you wouldn't do something like this? Because they know me. My exes know me. You know what's weird about that? You just said that? Guess where I was probably? Well, I'm not going to tell you where I was. But I, I'll tell you this. I traveled out of state and I interviewed one of your witnesses. She's scared to death of you. Did you know that? And she described how you beat her up and how you smashed her phone. I don't know nobody like that. Okay. Oh, well, she knows you. Yeah, she lived with you. <laughs> so when you say that, that's just another another untruth that you're telling me in this what room. Are you talking about? I know you're talking about Camille. Well, how do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, I stayed with her. Okay. She, she's lying about that too? or mm -hmm. About you putting your hands on her? You see they dropped the case in court, right? Uh, they didn't drop the case. Yes, they did. No, they they didn't. dropped the case. You think I didn't, I didn't get arrested for it? They dropped the case. I'm telling you, the case isn't dropped. Yes, it is. It's still Look, I, went, went, I went to court with her. All right. Well, I'm and telling when you. I, when I went to court with her, she told the jury, I don't want, I don't, I want it dropped. But she still got an injunction against you because she was scared of you? What? She got an injunction against you. No, she don't. Yes, she does. If, if she go to court and tell the jury she wanted it dropped, ain't no injunction. I'm telling you, she's got an injunction against you. I, I read it. I know what I'm talking about. I was in court. The way she went. He's a smart dude, man. You know, if, if I if I did hit her like she said she did, uh, yes, I did break her phone. But I did not hit. Why her. would you, Why would you break her phone? Again? Why would you break her well, phone? She broke mine. But so she broke your phone, and then you turned around and broke hers. Mm -hmm. Was there a reason why she broke your phone? Because I had a uh, message in my phone. She told me the opposite. She said you found some. Messages and went crazy and yeah, busted I did, up her phone. I did find messages because she had naked pictures on her phone than somebody else. Yeah, and that the same thing that pissed you off about Andrea as well? No. That's not. Me and Andrea, me and Andrea had problems, but our problems didn't lead to this. I, I wouldn't ever do this. I, I know my family know. God knows I would never do this. Well, she says that you put your hands on her yeah. before you killed her, Andrea. Yeah. I put my hands on her. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That ain't what she told my mama. Well, I'm telling you what she's told the police, what she told the Navy, and what she told all her friends on her I'm Facebook not, One thing I'm not worried about is the Navy. Navy can't Oh, I know you ain't worried. I, you even put messages on there that you, they can't touch you. You ain't in the Navy. Well, and you're right. I'm just saying that that's the extent that she went to. She, she let everybody know what you did to her. Mm-hmm. And... She took pictures and let everyone know what you did to her doors, and she was pissed, and she was asking you to pay her doors back, and you were telling her you were going to pay for those doors. Yeah, and I paid for them. Because you, cause you kicked them in. Yeah. Why would and you? Pay, and I paid for them. Okay. So my point to you is to sit there and tell me that you don't, you've never been violent with anyone and all your family knows that's that. Not, that's, not, that's not being violent. It's like can, I, didn't, I didn't kick her. I kicked the doors. That's, that's totally different. Why did you kick her doors? It just, she pissed me off. Instead of taking it out on her, I kicked the door. What did she do, though, is what I'm asking you to piss you, piss you off? She took my truck. Isn't that her truck? No, you are both our truck. Who makes the payments on I will. Okay. She was telling everyone she was making the payments on I don't know what she tell everybody here, <laughs> man. Yeah. Why did you smash her uh, iPad? Her iPad. Her iPad. Yeah, she had an iPad that was all smashed that she said you smashed. Oh, my iPad. Her tablet. That's my iPad. Well, she said it was her. It's purple iPad. If it's purple iPad, got purple cover, it was mine. You just smashed your own iPad? Yes. Any reason? Yes, because I had pictures in there of the women. And I smashed Okay. Were you going through her phone and that pissed her off that, that morning? Not the morning, no. Not the morning she was killed. But the morning that you guys got into a fight, were you going through her phone? Is that, is that what started no. that argument? Like, uh, me and Andre had understanding. Like, we went through our differences. Danny. Andre knew. She she knew what I was doing. She knew I talked to other women. She's in the Navy. She gone all the time. So she know. That's, that's common sense. 
Danny, I got video of you guys tussling over the phone. You're sitting, you're sitting at the dang bar or whatever. I can't remember if it was the bar or the table, and you're sitting in a chair, and she's sitting on the couch, and she gets up, and you're going through that phone, and she comes over there, and you guys start tussling over that phone. So, I'm telling you right now, I've done. My... No, it's a phone. Who, who, who won't? Why that's, are y'all tussling all, over a phone? That's all. That's that's relationship. We we go. People go through shit like that. I'm not saying people don't go through a rough time. It's a but phone. When you sit there and tell me that you guys trusted each other, I, I didn't. I never said we trusted each other. And she knew what you did. It that's... never came out of my mouth and said okay. we What did you say? Other. What did you say? I said yeah, all relationships have problems. Okay, had problems. But what did you say after that? I, didn't, I never said. Didn't we, you say you had an understanding? Yeah, we had understanding. That's not trust. I said understand. That's totally different. She know what I did. So she know what I was doing. Did you know what she was doing? Hmm? Did you know what she was I, doing? I know why you were talking to someone else. Did that bother you? No. It didn't bother you? No, because I knew what I was doing. Okay. Why would something bother me? And I'm, I'm telling I'm doing, you that I'm I have wrong. Facebook messages that are totally different than what you're telling me. And you reacting and acting totally different than what you're telling uh, me. I knew what you were doing. Okay. So why were y'all fighting over a phone? Fighting over her phone? Yeah. Why would I fight over her phone? I don't know. I don't know if she didn't want you going through it and you were going through it because you wanted to see who she was talking to. But I already knew who she was talking to. Who was she talking to? You know, I, I had friends in the Navy, too. So who was she talking to? Um, some guy named T. Terrence. I already knew. Did you ever talk to Terrence? No. Nope. Had you ever met Terrence? No. Nope. Told you I have friends in the Navy. I know. Okay. When you say she was talking to him, do you think they were involved, involved, or just friends? I don't know. I was doing my own thing. She did hers. I just I don't understand why you. When I ask you a question like that, that's a basic question for you to sit there and tell me that it doesn't bother you. It, it, it's it, odd it because I saw your messages between you two, yeah. and I know it, it bothers you. It's a you. message. Okay. It's a message, right? That's what me and do. We we play like we mad about it, but we're not because we know what we doing. Okay. It's, it's common sense. We we that's what me and do. That morning, did you threaten her with a gun? No. Why would she tell? Why would she report the police? That you uh, the, the police report that all this was because she went through with all this court stuff, me going to court and stuff like that. That's why they did not press charges on me then. Because for one, then when they went to the house, they said the only reason we didn't put a warrant out for your arrest because Miss Washington didn't open her mouth. It was all her friend. Andrea, Andrea know how much I love her. Andrea know that I wouldn't do nothing to harm her. She knew this. That's why they, they did not press charges on me when they put on She was scared to death of you, Danny. Man, what, what I'm telling you, I read those messages. What about that time when she was sitting on the porch? Okay, if you if they if she scared the mess of me, why didn't she tell the police that when he came to the house and did the report? He she did not open her mouth. She did. She reported everything no, that she happened. Did. No, she didn't. I can did. read you the report. I already know because the police told me. He said she did not open her mouth. He may have been telling you that to protect her, but I'm telling you, she reported to the police what happened. Mm -hmm. And she talked about the she fight. She didn't report to the, the Navy did. And, no, I'm telling you, she did. I, that day, well, I, know, I know everything. Okay, well, me. that day that you acted like you were in the house and you sent her a message and you were actually watching her on the video surveillance, she called the police that day. I know. Well, you just told me that she didn't. Yeah. I, okay, I, she I called the police that no, day. No, she didn't call the police. Her friend called okay, the police. Okay, she had her friend call yes, the police. Please, but her, that's how I know everything. Okay. But I'm telling you, she spoke to the police. Danny, I'm going to tell you this right now. She spoke She spoke to the police. Yeah. And, I have and, not lied to you one time and in this when room. the police got there, he said, Miss Washington didn't open her mouth. She said, if she did, we would have came to your mother's house that night and arrested you. That's not true. Not only did she provide a statement there, but she also went to court and got an injunction against you. She, and no, she provided a statement there. The Navy went, told her to go to court and get an injunction. Well, she still went there and got yes. it. And she provided a statement yes. against you. Mm -hmm. Right. And like all the other times, yeah. she said, I did this and I did that. And the text message she sent me, she apologized for saying that. Yeah. Well... Did she send you a message that day, apologizing for for what you say? No, she sent it the night before. 
She did. Mm -hmm. She did. I let my mom and everybody else read. Watch out on that. It's weird that you're telling me that you were over at her house sometime after 9 o'clock because when I pull your phone, I find messages from her sent to you saying that she's outside of your house. In my house? Yeah, it's right here. Right here at... Uh, and you're telling me just after nine you're over at her house, but then over here at nine at nine fifteen it says hey, and then you say what Andrea? You know I can't can't text me all lies you told. I know Danny. I'm sorry. I just wanted you out. I'm sorry. I told them you kicked me and stuff, but you wouldn't leave me. So. Wouldn't leave, so I saw it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're sending one back. Now I got to go to court. You guys go on and on and on. She's telling you to forgive her. She tells you that she's outside your door. Why would she tell you she's outside her door, your door, if you're sitting at her house? That's a good question. Yeah. It's bullshit. You're over at her house, you're on her phone sending yourself messages. So when you go to court the next day, you can show you can show the judge. That's bullshit. Well, I am staring at it. It's right here. Okay, so where is her phone? You tell me. You yeah. took her phone. Yeah, yeah I'm the police. Yeah, yeah, this is y'all job. I, it, it is my job. job. Yeah, okay, y'all did your job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we did our job, that's why you're here. Okay, you ain't found with her phone. You took her phone, but I don't, I don't, the biggest thing is I have your phone, and I have your yeah. other phone that you lied to me about having. What other phone? And your phone I found on your bed. Why did I lie? I, I you didn't, told I me. Didn't, no, I didn't. I didn't lie about what it. What did you, you tell you me? You asked me, did I, would I have, no, you, didn't, you asked me about my phone. I said, yes, I have a phone. Then you went to, I gave you permission to go in my house. So how did I lie about it if you got because it Because when I asked you house? about your phone, you told me that. You don't know. You didn't know where it was anymore, and that it had no service on it. That's what you told me. That's my old phone. That's my other phone. Okay. I had the, another phone that got lost. But that one was still active on your bed, correct? No. Yeah. It was on the Wi-Fi, so it's not active on the Wi-Fi. Okay. Is there any reason why there was a bunch of surveillance pictures on that phone? Were you checking her surveillance on that phone? I got the witch call too. You got the what? My name my, is under my what's it called my, under my email. Anytime they have a problem, who you think they call? So you're telling me you had access to? Yes. Okay. But well, you're not living there, is what I'm getting at, correct? Yes. You've been out of the house for probably two weeks. Yes. You've been living in this place on Vern Drive for probably one week. You were living at your mom's before that, and then you moved, then you moved into this place. Oh, you weren't? I've been at Vernon Drive. How long? I've been at Vernon Drive. Mm. Probably about three weeks. I just stayed at my mom's house. My right. stuff been at Vernon Drive. So you've been over there for about three weeks, but why did you continue to check her surveillance? It's under my thing. But what, what, what's, what's the difference? She come see me anyway. She at my house. I know she did. I think she came probably saw you that Thursday. No, she came see me one one week. She came the whole week. She got right there by the base. Yeah. But you still didn't answer my question. What? 
why why are you checking her video? If it's on my phone, if it's on the my what's called, I can do I can actually do anything if it's under my email. I, I get that. I g I'm not I'm not sweating you on that and saying that you didn't have a right to if you had access. If you had access, okay, so but I'm asking you what, because I'm telling you right now, when I when I dumped your phone, I, there was like, oh. I'm checking on her. You were just checking on yeah. her? She said she's scared to stay in the house by herself. Okay. But you knew she, she, but she knew, she, you knew she had her family there all day. Yeah. So and why was she, she, and she takes me all day. She takes me when they left See me. how that looks though? It looks like you're being kind of possessive. See how it looks to us though? I'm, being possessive. I'm just telling you how it looks though. Ever, when she told me she right. just did the house by herself, that's when I would start taking her. Now can you explain, you know, and I hate to keep harping on these messages, but can you explain why she would send you a text that she's at your, your house on the 16th at 9.30 when you in fact are in her house? I mean, it's right, I got it right here. Danny, I'm sorry, but it's what it is. I'm not happy with you anymore. That's why I lied, because you wouldn't leave. I'm sorry. Can you open the door? I'm outside your house. Are you going to tell me that you didn't send that? No. You're not going to tell me that, okay. Uh, no, I, why would oh, I you send, did send it. Why would I send something like that? To help you, uh, to help you in court. That's so amazing. That's something I'm not worried about. It, it's her phone. Right. But why would she say I'm right. outside? If, your... I, if I had her phone, you can track her phone in my house. You know right. where her phone is. Yes, it wasn't at your house. Okay. And so never... I don't have it. Right. But it, that's my point. You were at her house. And you were at her house getting the charger key. Why would she send you a text message saying that she's at your house? That makes no sense. You're setting the stage here, Danny. I'm not saying nothing. Like I said, we can deal with it in court. Hey, if y'all want. Okay. I, I thought we were going to have an open dialogue, you and it, I. It is open dialogue. No. You, you keep you, saying. You asking me. You asking me. Yeah, you already convicted me of this. You, I haven't you convicted you. How come you, you just said I'm on, I'm on the arrest for yeah. murder of Andre? Danny, I know, and I've already said this once, but I think you kind of interrupted me. I already know the who, the what, the when, the where. I just don't know the why. Okay, and y'all ain't told me nothing. Y'all ain't told me how she died. Y'all ain't told me nothing. You can tell me how she died because you were there. Okay. You killed her. Whatever you say. Okay. Whatever you say. Y'all got all these evidence, okay. but y'all y'all don't have. Y'all got a phone. We got all this evidence, and like I said, it's gonna make phone. you look really yeah. bad. You don't have a phone. You, you know. know. You don't. You don't. You y'all don't. You don't. Y'all not telling me how she died. Y'all don't know how she died. I'm like, man, come on. Yeah, you know she was shot. Come on, man. That's why I've asked you about a gun. You know that. Okay. And you also know that when we searched your house, we found the same type of bullets that we found at the scene. Okay. And she has it. If you if you y'all do y'all job, it's in a box. Why would you it's tell me? Why would you tell me? Why would you tell me that you didn't own a gun when I find bullets in your house? Okay. Because. And then you have a witness that says, "Yeah, because I saw her a gun kids in there. was there. She gave it to me when her no, kids no, no, was no, there." No, 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 no. Bullets in your house. Yes, she gave me the pistol when her kids was there. Okay, so okay, I got the pistol and the bullets. When the kids left, she got the gun back. When did the kids leave? Right, cause she went took them to Texas. She took them to Texas while you were still at the house. Yes. Right. So there's no reason for you to have bullets unless you own a gun, and there's also no you wouldn't have bullets to a gun that your close personal friend who's been sticking up for you this whole time said he saw a gun in your house. Yes, and, uh, and he, I yeah. told him that. I said, yes, it's under. He knew who it was. You say you told him that, but when I asked you in our original interview, you said, I don't own a gun. I, I haven't know. touched a gun since no, I was a asked, teenager. You asked me have I owned a gun. I said, no. I said, when's the last time you held a gun? And you know what you said? No. A teenager. And you know how I know that's not true? Because mm. remember, we tested you for GSR? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You may have cleaned up, but you tested two out of three particles for GSR. Um, you don't believe that? You think I'm lying? I'm lying that you tested for two out of three particles of GSR on your hands. I'm lying about that. I'm lying you got no gun powder on my hands. Wow. I'll tell you how. You shot that woman. And now you're going to sit in this room and you're going to cross your arms. And you're not even going to be a man, and you're not even going to look at me and let me at least be able to go back to her family and tell them what happened to her. 
That's what you're going to do. Well, her family, her family telling me she got so somebody slit her throat. No. Her family knows you killed her, and they're probably just telling you that to keep you at keep you at arm's length. But I've talked to her family. I've talked to her family at least once a week, if if not more. Yeah, so I know what they I think. To her son, I, I know what they think. Okay? I'm telling you that right now. I know what they think. Okay. Her brother, her twin brother Avery, he's got my phone number on his phone. Not my city phone. Not the phone number you had. Not my desk phone number, but my personal cell. Okay. okay? So I'm telling you right now, they think you're a cold blooded killer. Well, everybody think that. Yeah. Yeah, the jury's going to think that too. Okay. Well, That's going to be your ass. Take it in front of the jury. You killed her, Danny, and then you can see you're going to sit there and act like you don't give two shits. I'm not saying I don't give two shits because I know I know. I How many times it. you call me? For what? To check on this case. No, because I well, got I, I got somebody that's telling me do not do not say nothing. Well, that's I'm why, telling you right now, why, that's, that's not normal behavior. That's why I have. If somebody not. killed my fiance or my wife or my girlfriend so you or I'm my talk, sister, why you think I'm talking to her son? I don't know. I also know you try to pin her son on some bullshit phone calls and harassing phone calls. You try to put that on him. I'm trying to put that on him. You told her he was the one that was sending her harassing phone calls. Okay, and someone from Guam was. I talked to the PI. You know who he thinks was doing it? Um, I don't really know. Talking about Mr. Brown. I sat and interviewed Mr. Brown for some time. He showed me a bunch of paperwork, a bunch of stuff he did, and he told mm -hmm. me straight up. You were the one doing it. Okay, so if I wasn't doing it, why did you press charges on me then? Why she go down there and drop? I, don't know. I wish they would have pressed charges on you the first time you beat her up, because then she'd still be alive. Yeah, that's why they press charges on me then, because they know I ain't do nothing. That's why. If they thought I did something that night, they would came to my mama how we got. Just like the police said. Yeah, it's a process. Mm -hmm. It's like this is a false And even though they went and got a warrant for you, they were still gathering evidence oh, on yeah. that case. And they, still, they didn't get a warrant for me. What's that? They didn't get a warrant for me. They did or didn't? They did. Yeah, it's because they were still trying to get evidence. Evidence that we have in this book. Receipts from the handyman from where you kicked in the door. Pictures of the door where you kicked in the doors. The actual doors themselves. Picture of the tablet you busted up. The report that she wrote, that she submitted electronically, saying what happened. All that is what they were waiting on. And it came it came too late. I don't know what to tell you because I didn't do this. Okay. I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to uh, finish this arrest report. If you need something, just knock on the door, okay? All right, All right just give, give us about 15 or 20 minutes and uh, we'll get you over there. Alright, right, yeah, we're gonna walk on over to the jail, right? Is there anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? Are you all done? Matter of fact, just sit down right there. Just kind of okay. sit there and then put that chair toward us a little bit. That way your legs on. Right. Okay. Okay. Is that alright? Not too tight? Mm -hmm.